Hi guys, this is Anshu Goel. Welcome to Fish and Stone Academy German Online Classes. Namaste. मैं अंशु गोयल फिश एंड स्टोन अकेडमी से आपका स्वागत करती हूँ हेलो लॉयटर सो टूडेज टॉपिक वी हैव इज उन बेस्टिम्ट आर्टिकल दैट इज उन बिस्टिम्ट आर्टिकल दैट इज इन डेफिनेट आर्टिकल्स इन इंग्लिश या इफ आई ब्रेक द वर्ड इट इज उन बेस्टिम्ट आर्टिकल या दैट इज इन डेफिनेट आर्टिकल्स इन इंग्लिश Indefinite articles in English are what are those? Those are a or an form, right? So in the previous videos we have seen that we have three categories of articles in German, or three categories of genders basically. The nouns have been classified or have been categorized into three parts. One is the masculine, right? These this we have already discussed. Then we have feminine. and then we have neutral or neutrum right according to these three categories we have three articles that is der d und das right so these three articles till now we have learned are called as bestimmt articles right they are bestimmt article that is they are the definite articles what are the definite articles the the form of english right so in english we have only the word the but in german we have der for masculine d for feminine and das for neutrum or neutral now in the same manner if we have to use an a or an form of english right that is the unbestimmt article we'll have to follow the same procedure or the same rule of the masculine feminine and neutral or neutrum right so if any noun falls under the category of masculine or it carries the article der right then for that you're going to put the unbestimmt article ein for it that is if in an sentence you have to use an unbestimmt article that is a or an form and that noun falls under the category of masculine that is it carries the article der with it the unbestimmt article the indefinite article for that would be ein it's not in it's ein ein in the same manner if you have to use an article an unbestimmt article for a noun that is feminine right for that you are going to use the unbestimmt article as ein with an extra e to it right i repeat myself if you have to use an unbestimmt article an indefinite article an a or an form of the article for a noun which falls under the category of feminine that it is feminine or it carries the article d with it then for that you're going to use the article ein for it okay in the same manner we have neutrum that is das any noun fall, falling under the category of das or neutrum and for that noun you have to use an indefinite article for that you're going to write ein this is how it goes so for der we have ein for d we have einer and for das it is ein so basically it's the same for der and das and if you want to remember that for d because it is ending with e right so ein will also have an extra e to it this this e over here with ein is going to indicate that the noun is feminine okay so i'll give you some easy examples here for example the word man right man now man is man and we know that it is masculine right so if i have to say a man right then for this i'm going to write ein man now 
Now in the same manner if I want to use the unbestimmt article, the indefinite article for the word or for the noun Frau. Frau in English is lady and lady we all know is feminine. So if I have to write a lady, so in German I am going to write it as eine Frau. Right, because it is feminine and I have to give this a, so for a lady I am going to write eine Frau. Right, so in the same manner if I go further for das the word kind that is a child right it falls under the category of neutrum that is it takes the article das if i want to use the uh, article a for it a child if i want to say that in german then i'm going to write here ein kind right so all these unbestimmt article ein eine ein and further you will learn that there are many more variations to these ein eine ein Right, so these articles, unbestimmt articles, are in a way dependent upon the masculine, feminine, and neutrum category of the nouns. Right, if I give you more examples of the non living things, right, so for example, in German, the word is Tisch. Tisch is a table, right, but I want to say a table to it. So in German, I'm going to write this as ein Tisch. Tisch in German is masculine, right? Like in Hindi, we have a uh, mage, right? Mage kone me rakhi hai, right? So in Hindi, uh, this table is actually feminine, but in German, it's masculine. So for that, I'm going to write either der Tisch, that is the table, or I'm going to write ein Tisch, that is a table. In the same manner, if I go for Tasha, Tasha in English is a bag, a handbag. If I write this as a bag and I want to say this in German, then that would be eine Tasha. Right? Now coming with the Das article, word is book, falls under the category of Neutrum, that is it is neutral, going to take the article Das with it. So, book is a book. If I want to say a book, then I'm going to write ein Buch. Okay. So, you have to see the articles, the bestimmt articles, or you should know the category of the nouns. If it is masculine, then it is going to carry the article ein with it. If it is feminine, then it is eine, and if it is neutral, neutral or the neutrum, then it is ein. So I hope you like the video. If you have any questions, you can leave the comments in the box below. Cheers! Thanks for watching. If you have any question, leave a comment. Don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell for latest updates. Cheers!